there's been a constant drumbeat of just terror and frankly incredible sadness to the news flow over the past few months and frankly years. To be perfectly blunt, frankly, whether it's China or it's this tragedy in America, it is a debate that hasn't changed one iota in years. Fragmented globalization is what we have. It's not just a cold war between Russia and NATO, but there are elements of a hot war. I think it's a troubled period ahead, and you're gonna see a social instability as a result of this in countries. Sweden is in a different position. We don't have a dependence on Russian oil or gas. Uh, we have a 100% fossil free energy system in Sweden, but we get affected anyway because of the joint uh, pricing system in Europe. There's sort of a tough realization that to make progress on climate, a lot of the levers that we've put out there as the most effective levers are actually pretty inflationary. At the same time, we can't really think about energy without also thinking about energy security. We still believe that the economy is a very global economy. The reality of the supply chain situation though is that every company, every, every electronics company is having to redesign for re geographic resiliency, resiliency within the design of your products.